As it turned out, Mars was not quite as tranquil as was initially thought to be the case. Mars, the red planet, is going through a period of particularly severe seismic activity, which is causing it to rumble and grumble with a significant amount of intensity. Tremors of a dynamic kind are being detected a great distance below the surface of the planet. There is a possibility that at this very moment, molten lava is pouring just beneath the surface of Mars. Should it turn out that this discovery is accurate, it will completely transform our understanding of the geodynamics of Mars, which has been pieced together over the course of many years. This would imply that volcanic eruptions on the red planet are not only possible, but also taking place more frequently than originally predicted. This would have a significant implication. The narrator is perplexed as to what the rumbling may possibly mean. The question that is being asked is how the changes to our understanding of the geology of Mars will take place. An important issue is posed by the user, which is, how will this important discovery affect our search for evidence of life on Mars, both in the past and in the present? Prior to approximately 3 to 4 billion years ago, Mars was home to a significant amount of volcanic activity. During that time period, the planet's core was responsible for the emission of a significant quantity of volcanic material, which led to the building of Olympus Mons, one of the most colossal volcanic formations in our solar system. The towering peak that we see in front of us is actually a volcano, and it stands at a height that is almost exactly three times higher than that of Mount Everest. It was widely assumed that the vast majority of the volcanic activity had taken place during this time period. A few modest eruptions may have taken place in remote areas, the most recent of which may have occurred as recently as 3 million years ago. Internal processes on a planet are responsible for producing its distinctive magnetic field. The idea that there is no longer any activity occurring within Mars's interior has been strengthened by the discovery that the planet does not have a worldwide magnetic field. For a number of years, there was little evidence to imply that Mars might still have had an active volcanic past or present. In our ongoing mission to investigate the planet Mars, the year 2018 marked the beginning of a new section of the story. NASA's InSight mission was sent to Mars with a specific objective in mind, and that objective was to conduct research on the planet's subsurface layers. A collection of exceptionally sensitive seismic instruments was housed inside the lander. We were confronted with the first direct evidence of Mars quakes as soon as we received the initial data set that was delivered by the lander. Despite the fact that the initial tremor was too feeble, the instruments on board were able to identify a total of 174 Mars quakes over the course of 235 Martian days, also known as SOLS. In the year 2022, the InSight lander that was deployed to Mars will have accomplished its mission of successfully detecting more than 1,300 earthquakes on the surface of the planet. Tremors that occur on a celestial body have the potential to reveal a great deal about the internal composition of that body as well as the amount of activity that takes place within it. Researchers paid particular attention to a group of 20 earthquakes that had just been found in order to acquire a more accurate comprehension of the activity that was taking place on Mars. The majority of the faults that are spread out throughout the world do not appear to be producing any seismic activity, according to the data. In addition to their primary discovery, the researchers made a fascinating side discovery during their investigation. It appeared that the cluster of earthquakes had their source in an area that is referred to as the Cerberus Fosse. The area in question is a harsh expanse on the globe that was given its name after a mythological entity that was said to have existed in ancient Greek mythology. It is supposed that this beast, also known as the Hellhound of Hades, keeps watch over the underworld. At this point, the plot takes a fascinating and unexpected turn. Grobbins are a type of geological structure that can be found in this part of the world. The faults are allowed to widen as a result of the tectonic action. Because of this opening, the chunks of crust slip down among the parallel ridges of the faults as they move in a downward direction. As the seismic activity became more intense, the low-frequency waves penetrated further and further into the crust of the planet. During this time, the sides of the Cerberus Fosse Graben were being shaken by earthquakes of high frequency. The team has determined, using the seismic data obtained by InSight, that there is a warm source zone around 30 to 50 kilometers beneath the surface of Mars. This conclusion was reached as a result of the detection of low-frequency seismic waves at deeper levels. 
The high temperature of the area is consistent with the existence of molten magma that has not yet cooled down. This can suggest that there was seismic activity not too long ago or that it is still going on. The researchers came to the conclusion that the topography in this area is collapsing under its own weight, which is resulting in the formation of parallel rifts that are tearing the Martian crust apart. It is impossible to exaggerate the significance of the data gathered from the earthquakes that occurred in Cerberus Fossi because they are responsible for no less than half of the seismic occurrences that take place on the planet Mars. As the data from InSight and the orbital photos of Cerberus Fossi were compared, it became clear that the earthquakes had occurred in close proximity to a structure within the Cerberus Fossi mantling unit. This was determined as a result of the analysis of both sets of data. Before it was discovered, this particular feature was known as a young volcanic fissure. This discovery changed that designation. Around this feature, the researchers noted the presence of darker dust deposits. It appeared as though the dust had been scattered in a number of different directions after emerging through the hole. The fact that it was darker indicated that the geological activity on Mars had occurred quite recently, maybe within the previous 50,000 years. The findings point to the fact that geological activity and volcanism are still shaping the surface of Mars. Despite this, the rumbling that can be felt on Mars is not only thought to be caused by internal processes. There was only one earthquake caused by a meteor strike among the more than 1,300 tremors that were identified by InSight. Mars was shaken violently by the impact of a meteor that occurred on the eve of Christmas in the year 2021. The impact caused the planet to shake violently. The rumblings were so intense that the InSight lander that was sent by NASA was able to pick them up. Long after it happened, nobody knew what caused this earthquake, therefore, it was a mystery for a long time. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was able to obtain recent photographs of a new impact crater that was recently discovered on Mars. During the course of their exploration, the intrepid travelers discovered a massive crater that was around 152 meters 500 feet, in diameter. This discovery was particularly significant due to the fact that it was nearly 10 times larger than the ordinary fresh craters that occur on the surface of Mars. In addition to that, there were enormous water ice cubes strewn around in the neighborhood of the crater, some of which were as big as boulders. It is possible that the explosion caused these blocks to be thrown upward from beneath the surface and onto the surface itself. Mars has undergone enormous changes over the course of its 4.5 billion year history, and our knowledge of the planet continues to expand as a result of these discoveries. The discovery of aqueous minerals on Mars has led scientists to the conclusion that the planet was once covered in a sea of liquid water at some point in its history. This suggests that the lifeless and windy red planet may have once been capable of harboring some form of habitable environment at some point in its history. To this day, scientists aren't entirely sure if there are lakes of liquid water hidden beneath the surface, but if there are, it's possible that life is thriving in those lakes. If there are biospheres on Mars, they would require a source of heat in order to maintain a temperature that is suitable for human habitation. A source of heat that is both hot and liquid, like magma, might be just what is needed. The discovery of earthquakes in the vicinity of the Cerberus Fossi region on Mars is one of the most significant developments in the InSight mission. To this point, the lander has been responsible for making significant advances in our understanding of the geology of Mars. Regrettably, it appeared as though it could no longer continue operating in this manner. Dust from Mars has been progressively building up on the solar panels of the InSight lander over the course of the past four years. The lander was hit by yet another dust storm just recently, which had the potential to be the final straw for the spacecraft, which was already having a difficult time functioning properly. It is anticipated that the energy supplies of InSight will run out very soon, putting an end to the path of discovery that it has been on as the mission to explore Mars draws to a close. The 33rd episode of the Sunday Discovery series has already come to an end, and with that, the season has reached its midpoint. If you found this video to be enjoyable, please let us know by clicking the like button, subscribing to our channel, 
and activating the bell so that you can be notified when new videos are uploaded.